and I say goodbye and good luck to you. So about a month later, she say, you better get ready uh, to get married because I'm coming home, and when I came home, we're going to be married. When I heard that, and my mother, she was with a, a cousin of ours, and she say, I know a nice girl, which is Lucy. They didn't know that she had two, three things wrong on her, you know? Who did, Lucy? Well, didn't, didn't you see? Okay. I told you she was deaf and dumb and blind and everything. Yeah, honest. And she wants to consider herself as a first class. Was she beautiful? No, on the contrary. Then why did you marry her? Because I was, if I didn't marry her, I had to marry the other one, the one that she comes from Europe. You see? <clears throat> and uh, inside of a week time, we were engaged and married. Otherwise, if I would have known that her speech was bad, uh, this and that, you know, she had so many faults on her, although she gave me $1,000 for uh, adultery. Were you worth 1000 I was. Listen. How much were you worth? How much were you worth, and how much should you have gotten? I got 1000 but uh, uh, I, even for 10000 it was too little. Honest. And you got married when, in 1929? 1930. 1930. And we're 1984. I, I had already a city job, Doing which I was a driver for the sanitation. And uh, I had a study job, and there was nothing to worry about it, because my income used to come every week. And this was during the Depression, right? Yeah. During the Depression years, sure, it started at about 30, 31. When did, you get the, when did you get the job with the city? What year? Oh, I already had it three years, the job, before I married anybody. Okay, so you drove the truck for three years, so around 19... Drove 20, three years. I, 1926. I drove the, tr the truck up till quitting time, up till 1946, 47. And you were with the city how long? 20 years? 25 years. 25 years. So 1952 you drove the truck to? Yeah. Yeah. No, 1950, 51, okay. I think. Okay, so you started in 1925 then driving the truck? Yeah, something like that, yeah. How was, uh, how was it like growing up during the Depression? Well, for me, it was beautiful because uh, on the outside, they were getting 12 or $15 a week was considered a big shot because uh, President Roosevelt, he met a WPA, WAA, something like that. So, and they only used to give them like 10 days if you was, like you had a trade. They used to give you $10 an hour, I mean, $10 a day, but they only give you 10 days and out of a month. Mm -hmm. The other ones, they used to get 30 days a month and uh, very little money. Just how do you make, uh, make it go through? How do you get the job driving the truck? Obviously, a lot of people wanted the job. Were you lucky? Did you know someone? No, I got the job because at that time, nobody wanted the job. It's three, four years after, they were paying all kinds of money in order to get the job. And uh, so you got the job. Five, you got it before the depression, and yeah, then and then. That's right. You need the guy to drive the truck, don't you? Whether times are good or bad, you have to pick up the garbage, right? Yeah, but at that time they didn't. We didn't have no trucks. What did you, What did you drive when you started out? A horse and wagon. So you started out with a horse and wagon. A wagon. One man thrown at the ashes and everything. It was a, a thing like that, uh, high, and throw it inside. And I killed two horses because the horses, they used to know when it's 4 o'clock, they won't budge in any other way. They go right for the barn. 
and I wanted to make some money, which I had already in mind, a couple of places to stop and pick up their stuff. And they would have paid me two, three dollars for the stuff. But I had to hit the horse and all that, she wouldn't budge. So it was in the summer, he dropped it right there. <laughs> I, had killed, uh, I had to kill two of them. So then he say, hey, what the hell are you doing? You, uh, we're gonna be without uh, connection. He say, you kill two horses already. He say, well, they don't want to budge. I want to go to the garage, I say. And the heat, I suppose, they were sick and they dropped dead. Okay. So what they did, the first truck that they, they got new trucks over there, American La France. They had an old truck and they sent it to the Bronx. See, I was working the Bronx. Over there in New York City, they have five boroughs. Manhattan, Bronx, Queens, and Richmond, and Brooklyn. See? Mm -hmm. And I was working the borough of the Bronx. And he used to take me from the east side that I used to live. You know where I, where Uzi's name was born? Uh, Joey? Of course, he was born in the hospital because they would have taken him right away because I was a city worker. You understand? I had the privilege. And, uh, and uh, matzo bread with the striped matzo is now, he's now, he only had the two little buildings. Then we moved out from there and we went to a bigger place and we were on the fourth floor. We, we moved down to the second floor and matzo right away, they took that building to make matzos out of it. So he expanded himself. And that's where, where uh, for a year, a year and a half, uh, Joey, he grew up over there when he was a baby. Let's rest for a minute, and then we'll come back and we'll talk some more about it, okay? Rest no, for a minute. No, that's all I got. Uh, I ain't got to. No, no more. I, I have a couple more questions I need to ask you. Yeah, well, okay. go ahead, because... I'm going to go and lay down a little. Okay. Uh, so you drove the truck. You also drove... Uh, what were you making then, driving the truck? The sweeper was uh, 34.50. The driver was 36.70. About $2. So, but uh, the only advantage was the driver, you know, over there at that time, being that there was a depression, <laughs> 